so I had a question recently presented to me. Um, they wanted to know what's the best pattern of intermittent fasting. So I'm going to give you my opinion on that. Okay. So there's a lot of different patterns you can follow. You can do it daily. And within that daily pattern, you can have like an eight hour window of eating and a 16 hour fast, a six hour window of eating and a 18 hour fast, and then a four hour window of eating. Let's say you you ate at uh, one and then at four, and then you had 20 hours of fasting, okay? And then you have uh, every other day fasting, and then you're fasting on the weekends or maybe once or twice a week, and maybe you're doing a whole 24 hour fast, okay? So there's a lot of different things that you can do. Well, here's the problem with these two right here, every other day or once or twice a week. So I've gotten a lot of feedback from many people that do it every other day or a couple times a week, and they nearly always have severe hunger, brain fog, sleep problems. And that is because they haven't given their body a chance to adapt. So I'm going to recommend you stay consistent because why wouldn't you want to do some form of fasting on a regular basis? Okay, I'm talking about every day. So let's talk about what specific pattern that you would want to do on a daily basis. So there's a lot of benefits to fasting, but the goal would be to help heal insulin resistance, to help lower insulin, to help our bodies reset. So what I would do is I would base this pattern based on your body, your physiology. If your metabolism is fast and you're younger, then I'd probably go with this right here, which is a 16 hour fast with an eight hour window. But the older you are, the slower the metabolism, the longer you wanna fast, okay? So you wanna gradually work up to fasting for 20 hours and having a four hour window and eventually going to one meal a day, which is OMAD. That would be the best thing that a person could do, especially when they're in their 50s or older. So that way they're being consistent, their body's adapting to it, they're doing it on a regular basis, they have a chance to keep insulin really, really low and allow the body to heal over a period of time. But I really think it's important to do this gradually. So I would recommend maybe starting out here and then slowly graduating to here and just see how you feel. Also look at the benefits that are occurring if you're plateauing, if you're getting less benefits and then push it up a notch and start fasting longer and longer and longer. All right, thanks for watching.